Okay, I am in the tractor supply parking lot. Good morning. <laughs> this day is going so fast. If I don't do this now, I will not have an intro to this video. Um, I don't know if you can see it back there. I got the silver bullet hooked up. Um, we just went, well, we just, just me, um, went, got feed, and took a goat to a friend ditch bank rabbitry Jen and John um, who you've seen on this channel before and I'm sure it won't be the last time that I mention them we traded one of our goats for what was supposed to be two Holland Lops but I I'm gonna show you when I get home because being the wonderful people that they are <laughs> they gave us a really awesome gift so my morning started at 4 30 um, just woke up I needed to get sourdough in the oven anyway um, it ended up putting me, even though I got up so early, still an hour behind on the schedule, but that's okay. It worked out. I wanted to take John and Jen, um, a nice fresh loaf of sourdough. So I was able to do that, get feed, hit tractor supply, go to Walmart, get fuel, diesel, and now I have to go home to hopefully go and pick up Davin, who's at a plant sale for her high school, FFA before the lady who's coming this afternoon to pick up rabbits but that's not even the end of the day or the weekend so yeah it's definitely it's definitely a balancing act i'm trying to keep track to make sure everything gets done i spent all week matt and i both working and i think we put things in our minds that need to be done which really do need to be done because there's a timeline to every year, and if we don't get certain things done, then we don't accomplish goals that are for actual future goals. So things just need to happen, but I'm trying to not forget anything. Even with lists, even with the big whiteboard, that works really well. Um, the kids have been amazing the past few weeks. Um, they've just really taken charge of the homestead when Matt and I aren't there. They're making sure all the animals are well, well cared for. They're taking care of the house. They are just awesome. I couldn't ask for two better kids. So super grateful that they're willing to put that effort in. Um, and to be honest, it's become a joy. Even though they're teenagers, don't get me wrong. They don't want to do it all the time. It is really a joy to work with them now and have them involved because they think of things or they think of things in different ways that um really contributes to everything so i'm gonna go get home see what the boys are up to hopefully go get davin and make it back in time for this lady if not i'll just wait sell the rabbits to the lady and then go get davin so i'm not even sure but uh i'm, I'm gonna start driving all right excuse the half naked teenager who doesn't even have shoes on his feet but I'm gonna show you what the guys were working on while I was gone um, but we're gonna get the bunnies unloaded so you're gonna be excited about this one because you always say we get girls it's a boy. well top one's a girl the bottom one. oh no no backwards that's a boy oh, okay that's a girl All now right. take this one off <laughs> Look behind it. I will. What is that? Nora. Isn't she precious? <laughs> Another, we got three dewlops. <laughs> dewlops. Three Holland lops. Oh, all pedigreed. I don't know what that word means. They're fancy rabbits. That's Isn't what, that nice? That's what pedigree means? Yeah, fancy rabbits. These can be shown. Oh. Yeah. So, we're just going to put them in the barn for now, and then sister yeah. and I will get them settled later. Very oh, isn't she pretty? It's like moon if she was a lot. Yeah, it wall. is kind of like moon. They're supposed to be. They're a pet. How do you open this thing? Oh. Or you just pull the little things off. You want to take her out and hold her? Sure. The boy's really handsome. You can name him, since you oh, never get to I get name. I name the boy. Oh. Well, you got to name one of these. What are these guys' names again? You named them... Like ACDC and something else. She's very soft. Isn't she? <laughs> very calm. That's good. Yep. Typical Holland. Look at her eyes. She's like, what is going on? You're so cute. 
All right, let's get them in the shade. It's not bad, but she oh, at all. I got some more water bottles too. That's good. That's so, good. did he tell you how many they are? Two females, one male. Yep, they're all pedigreed. So you got papers on them. Yep. They have papers. Okay, so this is obviously temporary. Rabbits in the background are getting processed tomorrow. Um, so, oh man, it's been a long day even though it's like only halfway through the day. I think what we're gonna do is just a few more little things since we've got them settled. We're gonna be deconstructing the, what used to be the duck run. So we're gonna salvage from those pieces what we need to build a new rabbit hutch because I actually don't have any spaces for these guys <laughs> and Matt was gone so he didn't have time to build me one yet we're gonna deconstruct that tomorrow but for now I'm gonna go get some more sourdough started maybe chill out on the couch for a little bit go to bed early get up and I will see you in the morning hang on Good morning again. The morning started in the car for me. Well, not really. It started like 3.30 when I got up to, anyway, bread. You gotta get up early. So, I'm gonna go check on the boys. I just took a loaf of bread and some starts to our friends David and Stacy, who we got our pigs from, and we picked up some pig food. So that is awesome. I'm gonna actually show you what that looks like because we keep our pig feed bill really low um, because of David and Stacy. However, the boys are out here working on this project of getting all the stumps out. How many eggs do you want in your omelet? Got it. Uh, four eggs. Four? Mm -hmm. How many eggs do you want in your omelet? Do you want any sausage? I can pull it out and defrost it real um, quick. How many is that getting? Four. I'll get four. Okay. You want your funky banana drink? Yeah. You're weird. One. Is it different one? The one that uh, we got last time was like in an actual can, like you'd see. There was there was another one. I wasn't sure. All right, this uh, is new. it's banana strawberry. I'm concentrating. This looks good. I'm All right. right, All right, I'm gonna go make omelets. You want to slice the bread with it? I know. This is the last one. Uh, in this, yeah, for this run. Man, that's awesome. And then you're just gonna bring the tractor through and. He's, yeah, he's been yeah. doing that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go make omelets. Do you want me to call you in when they're ready or you want me to bring them out here so you can enjoy them? No, call us. I don't want dirt and flies on my... Okay. All right. So, the reason they're working on this is this is where the half of the double wide sat up against that barn. And we, well, we've run out of room inside the barn because of several things. The new tractor. Hey, we're going to have to stock. I, I don't have room for the girls when they have babies this fall. So we're going to build 
kidding stalls out on the outside of the barn. We're gonna extend it, not right now, we're just going to do what we need to in a way that we can build onto it so that there is actually an extended overhang after the kidding stalls so we can park the tractor under there or put hay under there or just a multi-purpose space. It's not gonna get done this year, but at least the kidding stalls will be done and then we can just build onto it. But I'm gonna go make the guys some breakfast and myself and then we're gonna get started on all the things we didn't do yesterday. All right, so when we get <clears throat> pig food deliveries, looks like this. This is, I mean, and hardly any of it is ever, some of it's a little old, like we'll give the apples to the horses, but we get fresh veggies, salsa, shakes, all sorts of mushed donuts. <laughs> anyway. So we're going to consolidate this. We usually try and only keep about four days worth. We'll give a whole bunch of the stuff that'll go bad soon, and then we will stack the rest and go through it as needed. Really like the what? Yogurt and mayonnaise. Well, yeah, they always love dairy products. Pigs go crazy for dairy. Ooh, whole bell peppers. Mm -hmm. I wanna keep this for the girls and give them a treat. <gasps> I got it. A bunch of veggies. That's good. They haven't had veggies in a while. Cucumbers. Harry, get out of there. She wants back green head. <laughs> it's raining veggies. This should be. This is what I'd probably give them tonight. I'm gonna give them this whole box okay. now. Ooh. Um, I'm just gonna. Can I put this in here? Cause it's basically the same stuff. Sure. That way There's we a go. whole bunch of these. Oh, good. They'll love that. Keep one box for like trash. I have a bag yeah. too. There's like. Ooh! It's, op it's open though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of key. It's either cucumbers or zucchini. Huh? These. Uh, that's. That's cucumber. The one you threw out before was a zucchini. Uh. Alright, so that thing is full of veggies and a whole bunch of the nature's whatever protein shakes. Um, what else is in there? Oh, there's some crab. But uh, yeah, I put a bunch of cucumbers and Brussels sprouts because they seem to like to forage a little bit. So not exactly straight up foraging, but those guys will be happy. And we've also discovered that Aspen likes these little mini plantains or bananas. I'm not sure. You remember those wax bottles that were filled with the candy juice that you drink? Uh huh. That's what it's like, but natural. They're stinky. Uh, yeah. Aspen. Ugh. That's hilarious. What a goober. She's eating the whole thing. Is it good? Get nope. It. She, she dropped it. She can puncture holes. Okay, so sorry for the wind. We're filling up the chickens with food and it's hard to tell but all the new little chickens have been in with the big chickens they still like this area they try and come and hide here but the whole thing has to come down because a new run and coop is going to be built here for davin's breeding projects and we're going to use some of this for the rabbit hutch that we need for our new holland lops so I am going to go, um, a friend of mine shared a contact that has fruit trees. I am going to zip out there and pick those up. Dee is going to get this old. Here comes the wind. Okay. Hopefully that's better. You got one of the hood ends? They were so pretty. Yeah, they are pretty. Yeah, big heads. Big head. Big head chicken. They're kind of spastic. I like the Morans. They're very calm and just whatever. I like their foot freckles. Foot freckles, yes. They have foot freckles. So. Anyway, I'm going to leave Dee to this. She's going to go get one of the drills and get this all taken apart. They can keep their little hut in case it rains or something and they don't know where to go even though there's tons of covered area. But the boys are still, I don't know if you can see, out there still working on stumps. So, they have, they, why are you so distracted? Beak freckles. Beak freckles. Anyway. I am going to go ahead and zip out and come back, hopefully with some very nice fruit trees. All right, back, mission accomplished. I'm gonna take you there in a minute, but I planted 
one, two, three, four rose bushes just a few weeks ago. They all have buds. This one is starting to open, and this one is really starting to open, and we have more. We inherited these rose bushes, so we're trying to bring them back to health, but some climbers that need something to climb on. So fun to come out in the morning and see all these pretty roses. Anyway, went and picked up trees. So, this is a plum, this is a plum, this is a honey crisp. There's another honey crisp in here. There's two pear, one peach, and then this tall one and that tall one. Nope, that tall one are red maples. And I don't know if you can, I'm 5'9", so let's see. Pretty, pretty good sized tree. I think it's almost, what, nine? 10 feet, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, $20 each fruit plant and 40 for the maples. And they have Japanese fire maples, which I have always wanted. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna go back. I didn't have enough cash on me, but that was such a great st score considering how much fruit trees can be at the store. We're gonna go inside. Oh, D got the thing taken down. The boys finished, woo, don't fall down the stairs. Leveling out the um, area for the kidding stalls and the lean-to. I am ready for the day to be over, but we got some stuff in the mail. Okay, Harry, why are you here? Huh? Right here, not helpful. Shoo, 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 shoo. Abundant Acres Homestead. So thank you, Angie and Kenny. Their link will be down below. Definitely go check them out, especially for gardening information. She is a wealth of knowledge and Kenny's just awesome. So I sort of peeked. I have an idea of what's in here and I'm so excited because I really wanted one of the, I'm gonna save the best for last, but anyway, a lovely letter. Abundant Acres looks like dip mix dill and there's instructions good because i read those every time bacon that's you know bacon dip is exactly what i wanted just kidding matt will eat it chicken poop dip mix <laughs> and fiesta um there is also a sticker I don't know where I'm gonna do it. Oh, I can put it on my work folder thingy. And homemade maple syrup, which maple syrup is Matt's favorite, so. He's going to probably steal that, which means I have to hide it before he does that. And I got a shirt. Woo -hoo, whoop, whoop, like that. Okay, thank you Angie and Kenny so much. I really did want a shirt, I will wear it and not work in it and get bleach on it and things. Okay, next thing, I've been trying to figure out ways to grow lettuce all year round, so I eat quite a bit of lettuce. So I ordered some, I think these are, yeah, 15 gallon grow bags that I am going to set up and I'm doing grow bags so that I can play with moving, if I can get it open. Is it inside out? Can it be inside out? moving these around in case I need to. So these are like a pretty much the perfect size that I was going for. So I'm going to get some stuff to fill these up. I think there's five. One, two, probably can't see. Me. Nope, yep, five, five. <laughs> so that is awesome. And then the big boxes, which everybody 
probably can guess what's in these. Because of what is coming in four, three, four weeks, more like four. Well, some of them are coming in four weeks. Some of them are coming a month later. But, I didn't get this book. rolls of 165 foot premier one fencing 164 164 yeah not 160 so that I'm pretty sure this box has the third roll and ouch holes step in posts that we use because it does they tend to sag in certain areas so if you do this three or four of them will do the trick it helps keep the fence up and top so this is all ready and I'm tired I don't know about you guys but totally worth it weekend definitely got a lot done got a lot more to do take care be safe we will see you on the next one